All right, guys, I wanted to do a quick video uh, on some flashlights. So, um, I used to work in automotive, and um, back in the day, we used to use mag lights, and we used to use these flashlights called uh, Bakos, and you could get them at Walmart and different places. And I wish I still had one to show you what they look like, but uh, um, they uh, they were. Um, like plastic and they had like a whole like you know row of leds on the front and then at the end there was a you know a main one and they they had batteries in them and they were rechargeable they're like about 20 bucks at walmart different ones uh they had mostly black ones and red ones and some yellow ones different versions uh and that's what we used for a long time and then the people started buying the streamlight stinger so um they were, you know, uh, originally a xenon bulb. So the Streamlight Stinger, when they first came out, I'm not sure what year they came out, but most of them would look like this one here. So this is the original Stinger, the Streamlight Stinger. They'd all have a serial number on them. And uh, they were... Uh, they should say that they're made in Pennsylvania, of course. We were just discussing this earlier tonight. Um, this this particular one is really hard to read because it's, it's like super duper old. Um, Stream Light Eagleville PA. Anyway, um, nowadays when you buy one, they come in a box like this. So this one has the, uh, this was originally a xenon bulb uh, deal. So this would have what they would call the uh, Terralux uh, upgrade. And, um, it would uh, just plug in here where the bulb went. Um, and this is how the old ones were made. So you charge these on a charger like that one over there. And um, I, think, I think these got popular in law enforcement or something. But um, they all use nickel metal hydride and liquid, liquid metal cadmium batteries. And so they don't have much in the way on the end on, on some of them like this one's just just really crappy plastic um this one as you saw it was like really really thick plastic and you see actually it's cracked um this thing's been dropped and really hammered on um so they charge it through this you set of screws here and if they get dirty they have problems you can also take the battery out and plug the battery in here i don't know what the classification of the battery is but i bought some uh, non stream light batteries from a place in Las Vegas and it they didn't work real well this particular flashlight right here um, I probably should see if I can send it into them because it doesn't charge I don't think um, uh, I bought this actually at a swap meet somebody had their name engraved bunch of crap on it so it's just like okay um but it was like you know it's never been super good with the battery that was in it but anyway the this one here um i believe you hold it down or if you push it really flat fast it'll strobe the, the original ones, this one's dead, but they just turn on and off. Now, uh, so those were like the first two ones. And then uh, they started coming out with different ones. This is the, uh, the Stinger LED um, would be that one there. So these are rated... Um, 
It doesn't say on here. So, this came off a tool truck. I didn't buy this particular one. This box is a box that came from somebody else. Um, I have a box to one. I've got a brand new one somewhere around here. I don't know what the hell I did with it. It's brand new in the box. It's a red one. This is, so what happens is the guys on the tool truck will talk you into buying this one. This one's 425 lumen, I guess. Um, and this is just the uh, Stinger LED. I don't even know, maybe this one's not even a Stinger LED. Yeah, it is. So Stinger LED. So this was like, I think maybe what they came out with after this one. This is the Stinger uh, Xenon. And then you get the ones that look like this. Let me show you. This is the Stinger HL. It's the LED HL. And uh, it's been used quite a bit. Um, you can see the LED in there. Let's see what does it look like on this one. Um, I believe it's just like a little bit smaller. Yeah, so, um, these all come apart and everything like that, so that's what's cool about them. They're not waterproof or anything like that, but I've dropped them in, like, a coolant bucket and things like that, and they've survived. So this is one of the newer batteries, um, and they get banged up pretty bad inside the flashlight sometimes, um, which makes me concerned about the battery itself, uh, but, um... They don't last real long. The um, 3.6 volts, 2.6 amp hour. They're like like a really big 18650, except for they're not lithium ion or anything. So um, I think there's multiple cells in here. I think we're looking at here. There's a cell here and a cell here and a cell here. I think there's three cells inside of one of these stupid things. Um, but if you if you go online and you look up, you know. I think maybe this part number or something, you know. Um, this is a, a 2018 battery because I bought this in 2019 off the Mac tool truck. And this, oh no, actually, I take that back. This is a 2015 battery. The 18th day or week of 2015. Yeah, so I bought this one on Amazon or eBay with uh, just a, a charger, a simple charger. This is called a piggyback charger because you can plug this in here and you can charge that. And you can also charge. Some people like to shove them in like that. Uh, but usually just like that. Now... This one here, it won't charge. So what you have to do is you got to take the battery out of it. I might be completely wrong. This might be the one out of that. But you'll get a green or a light green battery. Or the old ones had black batteries. And they're... Uh, cells made in China. Assembled in China. Manufactured for Streamlight. Uh, Eagleville PA. Uh, this is a uh, 3.6 volt. Two point something amp hour. I can't read it anymore. Um, four seven thirteen. I don't know that that number is actually a date stamp. This is a nickel metal hydride. Um, I believe this other one will be the same thing. Rechargeable. Um, nickel metal hydride. So anyway. Um, this really old one here apparently has one of my other batteries in it. So, <laughs> um, I think I finally threw out the battery that was in here. It was, uh, you know, probably from like early 2000s. Um, and it had somebody's name on it. It said Dave. <laughs> so Dave was the guy who owned the shop that I worked at. And, uh, I got this from Dave. And, um, anyway, uh, Dave basically th threw out all of these, he, well, he was going to throw them away, 
And so his brother Jerry was like, well, you can have them if you can fix them or whatever. Some tweaky guy that worked at the shop had taken them all apart. Because they had, they had newer ones and older ones, and somebody switched all sorts of parts on them and stuff to be a dick because they were mad because they got fired. Anyway, um, uh, the guy couldn't pay me. He was also, you know, bad at paying people. So I took took it as payment for, you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, so I have another one or two, maybe. But um, this one here is 640 lumen. But these things, they're all like 120 to 150 dollars off the tool truck okay so this is my point like you need to have multiple batteries you need to have multiple flashlights in order to get through the day and work in automotive i mean they're great they work really good i mean don't get me wrong they do they work great uh but they're not they're not lithium now i believe there's lithium batteries for these available now this company makes flashlights for all sorts of companies. I, I have some of these uh, submersible, uh, what they call um, environmentally, uh, you know, uh, safe or whatever, or clean room type of thing. Um, and they make uh, these weird, uh, you know, um, polymer flashlights that take, you know, AA batteries. And they're like, they're supposed to be like sterile. And I don't know what the whole deal is, but her dad used to get them from Boeing. And Boeing used Streamlight, a different type of Streamlight, not these Stinger Streamlights. Uh, they make um, another one called the Poly Stinger. There's some that are made for uh, medical use. Uh, you know, this company um, is really smart about how they market their stuff. So basically, I don't know what they charge the tool truck guys, but this is 150 bucks off of the tool truck, you know. And if you get a good deal, you know, for 150 bucks, you're going to get a flashlight, two batteries, and a, a piggyback charger. And the new ones have um, a USB that plugs in here instead of the old uh, style there. Um, but, you know, um, everything about these is expensive. Oh, boy, I wonder how that broke off. Um, anyway. So, these... Uh, things are they're expensive this was literally i don't know 29 dollars plus tax they're 34 dollars at sportsman's warehouse it has an 18650 in it it has this big huge bubble in the end uh there's no shiny foil in it but it focuses by turning this ring here there is a usb inside of here and um you rotate this. There's a little O-ring seal. You see it? You rotate it. This is also a power bank. You can plug a regular USB-C into it to charge it. Or a USB-A to your phone cord. How cool is that? Um, and these are... At Walmart, Sportsman's Warehouse. I've not been able to find them on Amazon. I looked. I found like a lot of their bigger ones. Um, so, it, I kind of wish maybe it was a little bit bigger in the middle, you know? Um, it literally is super freaking bright. I think that's low. Um, this is something here about demo mode. To deactivate demo mode. And um, so you unscrew it over here. I'll show you. There's an 18650 in there. And, you know, so you can just replace this. It's really strange, though, the bottom of it. Is that normal? I don't know. That seems a little strange, doesn't it? 
you might not be able to just go put any old 18650 in here. Yeah, there's something else going on here. See this strip going up to the top? I've, I've seen this before. So, um, I'm not 100% sure what this is. Um, if you know, post it in the comments below. I'm sure a bunch of you guys know. My friend John is all into these convoy flashlights and and pretty sure he was telling me what the hell this is before. So, um, I think if you don't have that on here, I think you can't probably recharge it in this particular light. So let's see here. Yeah, see, um, maybe. Well, you know, um, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of stuff going on in there. So, um, man, I don't know. I would guess you have to have that part to, um, how are you going to put another 18650 in here? Is it possible? Or is it just going to burn up? I mean, I've got other 18650s, but I'm not about to put them in there. Um, so anyway, that's the end of that right there. Now, I, I don't know, but I think it's pretty cool that you can buy this for $29. Um, and I'm pretty sure that this battery is going to outlast this battery. Um, I did see where they had these on the Nebo website, but it said out of stock. Um, and they were $9 or something like that. But they don't have them. So, I would guess... Jeez, I don't know. I mean... Maybe you can get them, maybe you can't. So, let me see here. So that's this one on high. Low. But it's not fully charged, so, you know, let me see here. So, okay. This is also, um, the beam is not focused, so it floods like that. You can get it a lot smaller, which is nice. Um, this one has a funny pattern in comparison, you know. But this also has, you know, like a lens on the end. So, I, I noticed that um, when I turned this before, it didn't want to turn very well. But now it seems to turn a lot easier. Same with this right here. So, it said IP67 waterproof, but then it says IPX7. <coughs> I don't know what the hell the difference is. Get a little clip here for a lanyard, but I mean, so I I don't know how long this thing will last. I don't know, you know, like what you can do with batteries. But I I just my point is that there's probably lots of flashlights that are like this. Um, I know Harbor Freight has one that's the same price. It's similar, and um, it uh claims to be eighteen hundred lumen instead of 800 and so maybe we'll uh, pick one of those up tomorrow and and do a little review on that just kind of compare it uh but i i can't see myself over buying one of these again um unless they come out with something like very revolutionary um for 150 bucks 
you know, there's um, some pretty crazy flashlights out there. Ridiculous. So, uh, I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of people don't even know what the Stinger Streamlight is anyway. So, you know. But if you've worked in automotive in the last 20 years, I'm sure you've probably seen them. So, um, I did talk to my buddy in Scotland, and he used to work on cars a lot, and he's never heard of them. But, you know, it's a whole other country. So, I don't know. But I used to swear by them. And at first, I thought people were crazy for buying them, too. So, um, I don't know if still people are still buying them. Some of them, you can buy them. They'll say Snap-on. They'll say Mac. They'll say Cornhole. You know, they'll say whatever the hell, you know, uh, damn truck company, you know, is charging you for the thing. But I, I think, you know, for $29, I mean, how many of these could you buy? You could buy, like, five of these, you know, for about the same price. You can just have five of these and just keep them all charged up. You know, I mean, like, it's nuts. Five, You could have five of these for the price of one of these. You know, when you buy one of these, you know, um, two batteries aren't going to get you through the day. Not usually. If you're at a really busy shop and you're using your flashlight all day, you're not going to get through the day without, you know, having to have more, you know. Um... And then, you know, you, you start to rely on that flashlight, you know, to work on cars. And then all of a sudden, you know, you, you can't finish your work because the stupid thing, all your batteries are dead, you know. So you always have to make sure that when you, you know, exhaust one of the batteries that you put the other one back on the charger while you're working. So that way, when the next one goes dead, you have a replacement, you know. And so if you make a mistake and you forget to put it on the charger because you got busy, well, now you're screwed. So... Um, I, I don't know. I think like, uh, technology has just come so far, you know, and I think that, um, Streamlight probably has something newer, but I, I hope they haven't been resting on their laurels with the, you know, newer technology. Um, these flashlights are, are not, you know, you, we, we can't sit here and say this damn thing is made in the USA. You know, it's a company that's in the USA, which is great, and they put their name on it, and maybe they assembled it in Pennsylvania, and, you know, um, maybe you have a lifetime warranty? I'm not really sure. Uh, somebody told me that they do. I, I don't see anything on the box here that says lifetime warranty, uh, but 2018 Streamlight.com Patents. The shape, style, appearance of the general triangular featured head of the Stinger LED is a trademark. So this particular flashlight claims to be 425 lumens on high and 200 on medium and 100 on low. It claims that it will go 3 hours on high, 5 hours on 200, and 10 hours on low. And that might be true when it's new. Um... So generally speaking, yeah, you won't uh, use these on high because it will just kill the battery. It says, assembled in the USA of U.S. and foreign parts. Caution, LED radiation, RNG2, do not stare into the beam, it may be harmful to the eyes. Uh, and then everything else is in different languages. But this is for something like the green one. Um, now, there's some screws that they give you to mount your, uh, piggyback charger, but, um, uh, rechargeable 26,000 candela peak beam intensity, 420 lumens, high, runtime, 10 hours low. IPX4 water resistant machined aluminum serialized for positive identification uh, limited lifetime warranty so um, yeah and of course if they say well we need a receipt uh, I don't have a receipt uh, in fact the last one that I bought off the tool truck 
the guy did not give me a receipt. I paid cash, so he didn't. I don't. He didn't charge me tax. Um, I think he charged me 150 bucks, and that was it. Done. Um, the black one, I've got a receipt for, because I purchased it on Amazon or eBay in like 2014 or 15. So I probably can find a way to prove I bought it. You know, but I I don't know what their policy is. It's it's not a big deal. It's just this one here that there's something wrong inside of it, and I've taken it apart and fiddled with it and fiddled with it. Had it working for a while, um, but you know it's seen better days. So the main problem with these is just the batteries are just not amazing. They're great flashlights to have on hand, especially if you have multiple chargers and you can just leave them plugged into the wall and they're ready to go. But I think times are changing. I also wanted to show you guys another thing that I got at Walmart today. And this one is rated at 320 lumens, which is only shy of what this thing runs for $9. And it's rechargeable. And I bet it has an 18650 in it. Maybe it doesn't, but I'm going to bet it does. These are at Walmart. They are $9. They're made by Energizer. You have high and low and stupid strobe. But 130 lumen. It uh, it claims... Uh, what does it claim? Um, I forget what the runtime is. One flashlight. One non-removable lithium-ion battery. One charging cord. Um, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it says non removable for nine dollars. You you can't even buy the damn battery. I mean, like, let's get real here. Uh, it's three hours on high, four hours on low. So, um, it's a smaller flashlight as far as the end of the lens goes. High, low. Strobe. Nine dollars. Crazy. It's rechargeable. It uses a micro USB. Comes with a little cord for you. Since uh, those aren't really all that easy to acquire anymore. And, uh, I mean, you know, this is great. You can buy this for nine dollars. You can put this in your car, in your glove box or something, and just leave it there. I mean, like, seriously, this is nuts. Like, nine dollars? 320 lumen. I mean, you know, years ago, I mean, we were working with flashlights that, you know, had way, way, way less than what this is capable of, even on low, you know, and um, so that's pretty cool. So anyway, um, flashlights are cool. You know, they're good to have, you know, you never know when you're going to need one. So, you know, go check it out and, and see if you can find these at your local Walmart and Tell me what you think.